You won't believe the stuff that people try to get through security at airports. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Thank you for making us a part of your daily routine. Uh, we don't care what you try to sneak in. Bring anything you want. I mean, you know we bring a lot of baggage to this show. Right, Rhett? That's good. <laughs> so you bring anything you want here too. This is a safe place for all types of uh, sharp things. Now, uh, in an airplane, uh, unfortunately, is not not a good place for sharp things or dangerous things or various things that people try to smuggle through security. And the TSA, the Airport Security Administration, the Transportation Security Administration, that would be ASA, this is TSA, Yep. releases a report each year of the different things that they have found. And what we're gonna do, we're going through all the things that have been found also in other countries. This is the weird stuff that people have tried to the get The weird stuff. Security, okay. Very, and all of this is true. This is not speculation. I made up one. No, it's all true. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, I wanted to choose which one you made up. Very, very common for people to take combs, shoes, phones, etc., that have daggers hidden in them. I mean, this is like that probably 15 a day at your average airport. Well, you know, I made that number up, but there's a lot of them. You know why? Because you forget it's in there. Right, you're like, oh yeah, my comb is a knife. Yeah, it's like you're, you're, you're just styling here one morning and then yeah. like, psh, all of a sudden a blade, I forgot that was in yeah, there. my toothbrush is a dagger. Yeah. I keep forgetting that. My tweezers are uh, like a laser. Now this seems like one that you- I, I, I pluck uh, some eyebrows. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't do that with a laser. That would be very stupid. I'm all not sudden, talking about like, lasers. Put, putting a laser through my- You, you came up with lasers. I say nothing about lasers. Uh, spoiler alert, no lasers have been snuck onto planes, sneaked onto planes. Stunk on the plane. Uh, this is, seems like something that you would know you had if you had it, but a lot of people have them. Walking canes with swords inside them. So like an old man's like, <laughs> Zorro, you know, like ready for anything. Sound effect and everything. Yeah, uh, apparently this is really common, walking canes with swords in them. <laughs> uh, we've heard of one of these. Uh, Cleveland, they found a stun gun cane. Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> I just happen to keep one over here at all times. <laughs> as, many, as many times Look as- Look at that, right? Please, please, please. No. As many times as, as I've been stunned with that, or you've been stunned with that, yeah. I know I don't want that on a plane, unless I'm, you know, like with the, the US Marshals. Or here anymore, actually. We should destroy this, because now everyone's like, stun him, stun him with the cane, make an internet video. That's what they want. I'm not going to do that to you. Please right? don't. At Chicago's Midway International Airport, I might do it later. They found a mace, and it was not traveling along with Hawkman. It was just somebody's mace. And this wasn't a sprayable mace, right? No, it was a mace, like the medieval. Oh wow! Ball in your skull situation. Collector's item, hopefully. Oh, please. There goes the stun. You're going to hurt yourself. New Jersey's Newark Airport. The Wheel of Pain was found. Check, look at this thing. It's like a what? Chinese star that unfolds it's into a, six blades. Well, it's it's like a Chinese star meets a survival knife. I could see how you could forget that the Wheel of Pain was in your laptop bag, maybe. Maybe not. Wow. This guy at the same airport, Newark, uh, spear gun. He tried to get a spear gun onto the plane and he claimed when caught I thought spear guns were okay to bring on board. Well, you only you only shoot uh, uh, ocean animals with them. Uh, Are there any ocean animals on the plane? I think you could shoot a person with a spear gun. I think that would be an unpleasant experience for the person being shot. But in his mind, there was a dichotomy there. This is just for ocean animals. Uh, Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, they found an old bazooka round. What? Now, when they found this thing in the guy's uh, carry-on, they established a 100 foot perimeter around there I and they evacuated so. the baggage area and all the terminals and then it was eventually determined to be inert. Like that means it's not going to explode. And five flights were delayed. And uh, I mean, that seems like a small price to pay. Five flights delayed? This should happen every day. And this could be like a strategy if you're late. If oh, I'm late again. Get the inert bazooka round. It'll just delay the flight a little bit. <laughs> hey, it's rusty. He probably didn't get on the plane with it though. He probably was. You know, He's gonna put it under the plane. Questioned. Oh yeah. At Providence TF Green Airport, this is really good. There was a man traveling with a small child and they found a dis disassembled 40 caliber gun stuffed into a Mickey Mouse stuffed animal. It's like Hen little Henry, 
why did you stuff that in your, in oh, your blame it on the child? Yeah, in in your Mickey Mouse. Well, I, how many times have I told you not to stuff handguns into your Mickey Mouse? I was, I think, as you can see from the picture, it's obviously in the tray at security. So this guy thought, hold on, you're gonna let him carry Mickey Mouse through there, right? Without like. You know, it, how did this guy think this was gonna work? Hold on, I think Mickey's still wearing a belt or something, or does Mickey have some change? No, Mickey has a 40 caliber pistol inside of him. At the Oakland airport, this is really good, an advertising executive had a watch, a timekeeper, a watch, with all the components to make an improvised explosive device. Here's a picture of that. Yes, it does look like a bomb that MacGyver could, uh, what do you call it when you- Detonate. Now- No, when you- undetonate a bomb when you diffuse. diffuse. Now I've met enough advertising executives in my life to, to know that this is totally believable. Those are some kooky people. Yeah, okay. Well he said it was a piece of art. Exactly, All kooky right. people. <clears throat> now that's just the weapons. Let's move on from the weapons. In the Denver airport, a seal head, a biology professor had a seal head and he said, he was unaware that he needed a permit to carry a seal head. I'm not aware of that either. Now that beats, that does not beat Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where two human skulls have been found. Uh, 2013, they found a human skull coming from a lady coming back from Cuba with clay pots, and she said they were in there to ward off evil spirits. But in 2006, at the same airport, a woman known to be a voodoo priestess had a complete human skull of a man 30 to 40 years old. She also said it was to ward off evil spirits, and she was charged with, quote, smuggling a human head without proper documentation. So well, apparently if you have the proper documentation, you can take all the human heads you want. A Filipino wow. man uh, I'm speechless. was returning to his home country. He was found to be carrying uh, several one and a half foot long crocodiles in his carry-on. Several? Se I, several. Uh, you can probably fit a few in they there. They don't like to travel alone, they get lonely. Uh, One and a half, so baby crocodiles. Baby crocodiles. But that does not beat the man from the Miami International Airport who had 163 marine tropical fish, 12 pond slider turtles, 22 invertebrates, 24 live coral pieces, eight pieces of stony coral with mushroom polyps, and eight pieces of soft coral. What's this guy, a traveling amphibian zoo? He should, he, he was thinking go big or go home. He should have been like, you know what, maybe I'll just take the 22 invertebrates on this trip. You know, but he was like, no, I also need to throw in the 12 pond slider turtles. Was he setting up a pet shop or did he heist one? I don't know. And a snake was found on a plane. Uh, this did not inspire the movie. This was after the movie Snakes on a Plane came Ooh. out. But several times this has happened in India. One time a snake was discovered in mid-flight on the plane, coiled up under someone's seat. Apparently got out of somebody who, was, who was smuggling it. And everybody started freaking out. Can you imagine? And it yeah, went into, it, it went into an, out. an air vent and they have not found the snake. It, it retreated into an air vent. They're like, whoop, uh -uh, uh -uh. I guess he's gone. Uh -uh, uh -uh. But that doesn't beat the best one of all in July 2012, I mean, sorry, 2002, at LAX, Robert John Cusack, this is not John Cusack. The actor. This is Robert John Robert Cusack. John, big difference. Was on his way back to Indonesia and they found 50 orchids in his, in his uh, baggage. Now that's okay. nothing, that's just 50 orchids. You still have to. But when they, that. when they opened up uh, the suitcase with the orchids in it, four rare birds flew around out of there and flew around the terminal. And then they said, hey, uh, John Cusack, do you have anything else? Robert John. And he said, actually, I have a monkey in my pants. Make that two monkeys. He had two pygmy monkeys in his pants. And that is not a euphemism for anything. We're talking about two actual pygmy what, you, monkeys. You got two pants legs. You might as well put a monkey down each one. And uh, that's he, what I've always felt. <laughs> he got charged with 57 days in jail, time served, and he was ordered to donate $11,500 to a Texas facility for primates. Well, the thing that gets me is that there's a Robert John Cusack uh, in Indonesia who who could who ha could have an acting career. Yeah, call him Monkey Pants. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Monkey Pants, you got the part. <laughs> You're big in the U.S. Thanks for liking and commenting on this video, it makes a difference. You and your sister. You know what time it is. Hello, I'm Seth Vitria. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. It's Friday, that means we've got another episode of our audio only podcast, Ear Biscuits. This one's a little bit different. This time, we're the guests. We, we talk interview to each, each other. other. Whoa. We, we learn things about each other that we didn't know. Yeah, I feel like Come we, along for the audio ride. We bonded a little bit. Click through a Good Mythical More where Rhett talks about almost getting arrested by TSA. Lights for out. Real. Oh.
Red, red, red. I'm scared the, of the dark. The, the, the light just went out. That's all that happened. It's just dark. Yeah, but now the monster's gone. Yeah, but that's fine. They're not nice. The security guard was standing there and kind of like telling us, you know, what to do. And I said, would you like my <laughs> Now And then all of the air was sucked out of the airport. <laughs>